Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is time for October's TBR. I'm actually kind of late in filming this, so it is the 1st of October now. Um, and so we had Bookopoly last month, so we have not used the deck of TBR in over a month. And I am going to go through how I did the last two months and how that affects this month and whatnot but I did want to say fully transparent I did remove a couple of prompts from the board as well as some books from the Joker book that's because either when I went through the prompts there were things that I had no books that would go with that and the goal of this is to read books on my physical TBR um, as much as possible so I took those out and set them aside um, I also removed any books that I purged from my shelves so I went through and got rid of some books that I just had no interest in reading anymore um, so I pulled those out of a couple of those were in the Joker book um, category but I did add three more books to that in place of those and then I added some new prompts to my prompt bag so it all evens out and I did randomly pull them so I didn't just cherry pick prompts to put on there that I wanted to get so um, yeah that is basically it as far as any kind of changes that have happened here and let's get into how I did the last two months and how that's going to affect this month's game all right so for the month of August I did pretty well um, I did finish these three books as well as this one which I replaced Washington Black with. Um, I had Washington Black on there for book on a prize shortlist. This was the last book on the women's prize shortlist that I had not read and I was convinced to read it and I'm glad I did because I gave it five stars but it replaced that one so I read these four in their entirety and then I actually DNF'd the fifth one which was A Rise to the Sun by Leah Johnson book just wasn't for me um so finished my august tbr and then for september with bookopoly not quite as well um i did finish these three books and i also finished two books that i don't have physical copies of so sitting pretty and rat queens volume two and then i have started both of these so I'm about 80 pages into um, Cantoras, and then I am about halfway into this place. So these two I've started and am currently reading. The only one I didn't get to at all was It Goes Like This. So this one will go back on the TBR, and that does mean that I did not complete my TBR in September so I will only be replacing one prompt on the board let me figure out which prompt I'm gonna replace I already know what I'm going to replace it with but I need to figure out which one I want to replace so I am going to be replacing unhauled book with genre wheel so this one um, as I mentioned previously I am trying to read the books on my physical TBR so the unhauled books are ones that I was interested in at one point but then I got rid of and so this would mean I would get it at the library or like an audiobook of it and um, revisit one of those but I don't really want to do that so we're gonna replace that with genre wheel which I'm super excited about because look at this wheel that I made I took the Ikea wheel um, and then repainted it and it's so pretty so we will be using this if we get genre wheel or um, if we do get play another TBR game then we're probably gonna spin the wheel all right so we're gonna pick that um, actually we're gonna dump them in my little my little cauldron here so that it's they're not just in the same thing and then we're gonna pick that Joker book which is gonna be okay uh, this is one of the new ones I added. So this is Valette by Charlotte Bronte. And we're going to put that over there. That's actually... I wouldn't be mad if that came up. Because I am looking to read at least one classic. I say at least one. I would like to read a classic in the month of October. So 
I wouldn't be mad if that came up. All right, so we're going to open the cards and we'll get into draw number one. Let's see how this goes. I have some books laid out in front of me as far as things that I would like to try to work into this TBR for the month. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling some different things this month than I have been uh, the past few months. All right, so we have card number one is the Nine of Clubs. So Nine of Clubs is an underhyped book. So this is going to be a book that um, doesn't get a lot of hype slash I haven't seen a lot of places. Um, I used to do this as it had very few ratings on Goodreads, but I don't use Goodreads anymore. So we're just going to be going with a book that doesn't get a lot of attention. For underhyped, I'm going to be reading this one, which might be slightly a cheat because it is, this is an ARC copy. Um, I think the book may have actually come out early. My copy says it's not supposed to come out until October the 12th, but I already received a finished copy of it. So it might have come out in September. I'll have to double check. Um, but either way, I haven't seen this around booktube or bookstagram um, a whole lot. And this book super interests me. So it is called In the Weeds and it is by Tom Vitale. And Tom was the longtime producer for Anthony Bourdain's show. So he and Tony were good friends, worked together professionally for a number of years. Um, and this is his story of producing that show and of his relationship with Tony and the behind the scenes of um, making of that show, which if you don't know, um, I used to work in television production uh, for a local, two local TV stations. And we did a lot of like live programming as well as some long form um, kind of documentary type things. So production and uh, behind the scenes kind of broadcast stuff really interests me. So this is just twofold because I love Anthony Bourdain and I am very interested in, in broadcast. So this is something I think is going to be hard to read, but also that I will really enjoy. All right. So we'll put that back in the cup. And we're going to replace that prompt with, oh, yay, we're going to replace that one with the uh, transgender YA recommendations jar, which is over here somewhere. Um, I got this from an Etsy seller. I'll list her shop down below. She has a couple of other like star jars that have recommendations. She's a librarian. I've been wanting to get to this. So yeah, that's a good one to get up there on the board. Hopefully not for this time because that would add another book. I don't know where that card went. There it is. I'm a mess today. All right, mixing that back in. And then we'll see what we get for the second one. We have five of clubs. Ooh, that's hilarious. This is basically the opposite. This is a FOMO book. So a book that I bought because of the fear of missing out on the hype. I already know exactly what I'm going to read for this. As I said, I knew exactly what book I was going to pick for this one. Um, this is the Charm Offensive and it has been all over bookstagram just absolutely everywhere um all of the people that i follow and trust um in the like queer bookstagram community have been talking about this i know next to nothing about this except that apparently one of the characters in here is ace and um that it's like i think it's like a rom-com has to do with stage some kind of maybe a production of some sort i'm Get no idea, but it's been everywhere and everyone's saying it's so fantastic. So definitely picked this up because I had the fear of missing out. All right, we're going to replace that prompt with one word title. And mix that card back in. That's hilarious that I got underhyped back to back with 
basically the equivalent of a hyped book. <laughs> All right. We have Eight of Diamonds. So the Eight of Diamonds is a new to you author. So that's fun. I definitely have quite a few of those. So this is a great one. I feel funny choosing this one for uh, new to you author, but the premise of new to you author is it's an author you've never read before. And I've never read anything by Mary Shelley. And this book has been on my TBR forever. And it's, it's just, I think it's 200 and yeah, 205 pages. And it's October. And I don't do spooky. But I feel like, you know, this is the time to read this. I think every time I look at it, I'm like, no, I'll read it in the fall. No, I'll read it in the fall. And then the fall comes around and I don't read it. So it's going on the TBR this time. I'm going to read Frankenstein. All right. And we're going to replace that one with Top Shelf. Uh, what that means is that if I get that, then I'll go to the top shelf of my TBR shelf. There's two and then books back on the floor. Um, and then I will pick a book from the top shelf. They're not really in much of an organized fashion. They're just sort of slapped on there. So I'm not really sure what the top shelf versus the bottom shelf really does for me, but it was a fun prompt to add. So, <laughs> all right. So we are on pick number four and we have the 10 of hearts. Ten of Hearts is a friend pick, so let me, let me figure out who I'm going to have pick this one. Uh, what I will probably do, I don't know, I'm either going to give them a stack of books that I'm interested in or a picture of my entire TBR shelf. We will think on this and then we'll see. All right, so um, it took a little bit of time, but I sent this picture, which is a stack of books that I picked out from my shelf that I had varying degrees of interest in. And I asked my friend Catherine to pick one of those books for me to read this month. And she picked Mrs. Dalloway, which I am thrilled about because I really wanted to read a classic, and I know uh, Frankenstein is obviously a classic, but I wanted to read, like, I don't know, I'm not going to say cozy classic, but yeah, like a cozy classic. And yes, I don't know a whole lot about Mrs. Dalloway, but a lot of people speak really highly of it. I've never read anything by Virginia Woolf, and yeah, I... I just feel like fall is the time to read classics. So I will be reading Mrs. Dalloway. Thank you, Catherine. All right. That one's always fun and also nerve wracking. Because <laughs> uh, I have to give up a little bit of control. All right. So we are on pick number five. And we have, oh, speaking of giving up control. The ace means that I draw from my entire TBR jar. This should be fun. Um, so it is up to date. I did make sure before I filmed this to make this up to date. I'm actually going to, again, dump them in my cauldron because that's fun. It's, it's Halloween season. I'm not a spooky book reader, um, so you will have noticed there's not a lot of spooky books here. Um, but I do love some good kitsch Halloween decorations, so. <sighs> I hope it's nice to me. <sighs> so, it's a short book, and it's, I don't know if you can see that, it is King Lear, but I have this thing where if I, if I read King Lear, then I have to read the Hogarth Shakespeare book that goes with it, 
and I just don't want to do that this month. Like, I, I just really don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back in here, and I'm going to pick again, and I'm going to add another draw on the end as a punishment for not taking the book that it that the cauldron chose. Um, whatever the book is this time, though, I have to take it, so I hope it's not worse, because at least King Lear was short. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, that could have been worse. So this is ah, the Library of Legends. It's not gonna, it's not gonna focus. The Library of Legends by Janie Chang. Um, Janie Chang is an auto buy author for me, and I've had this book on my shelf for about a year, so it's about time that I got to it. Um, so let me grab that. So here is the Library of Legends. It's a historical uh, fantasy, I believe, and it has to do with, um, I think that it is a woman in, so it's set in 1937 China when the Japanese is bombing um, the city of Nanking, and it's about a 19-year-old girl who is like, I think she's entrusted with a bunch of things like treasures and books and things that she's moving to another location or something like that. I'm I, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Like I said, Janie Chang is an auto buy author for me, so I just love the way that she writes, and I will basically pick up anything she writes. So yeah, actually quite pleased with this. All right, well let's do that sixth punishment pick and see what happens with that. So, I have a queen. Queen is current acquisitions um, TBR jar. So yet another one that's out of my control. Let me get these out of the cauldron and switch it to the other books. All right, so this is my cup that has current year acquisitions. I'm just gonna dump those all in there and see what we pull out. So we have, that's actually hilarious. So we got, it goes like this, which is the book that I did not finish last month. So we're gonna be adding this back into the TBR. That's kind of fun. Um, yeah, so that didn't go, that didn't go terribly. Obviously the books that are in the uh, current year acquisitions jar are things that I am more excited about because I've recently bought them. I am sad because I didn't get to spin the wheel this time and I worked so hard to get it done in time. So <clears throat> there's that. Yeah, so that is the stack of books. Not too bad. Um, pretty good variety here as far as what I will be reading this month. And um, all of the books that I was kind of hoping to get on here except one um, are on here and I'm thrilled about that. So this should be a really good reading month. Um, and then we're going into nonfiction November and I have some fun things planned as far as the deck of TBR for that. Um, as far as books that I was intending to get on here but did not, I do have these two. So Ariadne and Mechanical. Ariadne I definitely have an audiobook of, so if I don't find audiobooks for any of the books that I have on my TBR, then I'll be doing the audiobook of this one. And then I also requested the audiobook of this from uh, our library, the digital audiobook, because this is the book my husband picked, oh my gosh, months ago um, as his free pick, and I still haven't read it, and I have to read it by the end of the year. So uh, I'm hoping to get the audiobook of this and listen to it. Uh, this month. So these two are not on the official TBR, but are things that I would also like to get to this month. Yeah, let me know in the comments if there are any that I should get to sooner rather than later, ones that were your favorites. Um, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Like the video if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye!